this boat's already in the yard. As far as it's tucked away already. But it just arrived. It's a 2000 model. It's all original. It's a Southwind UB670. I could stop there, but I'll keep going. So this one's got a Yamaha. It's a Yamaha 100 horsepower four stroke. It's got 587 hours on it. It's literally just rocked up from up north. So I literally just blew a bit of uh, hose over it quickly just to get the red dust off. It's all got to be detailed and cleaned. It's a uh, tandem axle drive on Research A trailer. So Southwind UB670. I don't know. What do you say about these things? They're insane. You know, they're a 1.2 ton commercial payload. They go through the water better than anything you could ever imagine. Heaps of storage, really stable. Um, extremely dry for a center console. Um, I noticed the fun name, he's got wet, wet and wetter, but I totally disagree with that. I find these things extremely dry. Yes, in a center console, if you're out in the elements and the waves coming up or the rain's coming in, you're not gonna get that shelter that you will in a normal boat, but you're also just not gonna get the space. These things are, um, Fantastic to use behind bigger boats. Other guys use them for running over rod o surfing because they do just handle the water so well. It's got uh, full 32 mil rails all around the front and back extension rails on the rear. It's got the stainless steel T top with keep extra rod holders. I'll just walk through the sand. Yeah, I'm going to put sand everywhere in the boat when I hop up. So big open deck space at the back. There's two lockers. As I said, it's a bit of red dust too, I'm sorry, but I've had a few people asking me about this already, so I thought I'll just get it online straight away. Big uh, ice box, not factory, but it was what we kind of made standard at Southwind in, in Freya Yamaha. We had these made up specifically to suit these boats. Uh, it's got two Lawrence combos. Those two are linked together. It's got a little AM FM radio. It's got your little VHF. It's got, um, as I said, it's got T-top, little extra rod racks on it. These rails are, you know, good height. They're nice and tall. Um, as I said, 587 hours. You can see the boat's been loved and looked after and used. Um, you know, all these Feet aren't all kind of half hanging out like you expect to see on a lot of these after they've been hammered a bit. And the windscreen's all good nick, the console's all good nick. I've seen these things fetch ridiculous money, but this guy's been extremely sensible about his price. So this one will be uh, photographed quickly and online today.